Good morning, Cardinal Ambrosic. Today is Monday, May the 10th, 2021. Hope you all had a great weekend, a restful weekend. And again, to all of our moms at Cardinal Ambrosic, happy Mother's Day. Uh, this morning, we continue to pray along with Pope Francis, uh, calling for an end to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and we're getting somewhere. We're, we're taking some positive steps. Uh, just this morning, we're hearing that the city of Toronto uh, we now have 50% of adults that have received their first dose. And in the region of Peel, just over 40%. Uh, so let us continue to work towards a return, um, hopefully sooner rather than later, but certainly in September. And that would be the greatest of gifts. So we pray for uh, an end to the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, as Pope Francis has asked us to join him. And we also ask for the intercession of our mother, Mother Mary, uh, to intercede on our behalf, to journey with us, accompany us through this month of May, especially as the church dedicates it to her. Let us pray in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, you sent your only Son because of the unconditional and abundant love you have for each and every one of us. Continue to help us at Cardinal Ambrosic to be instruments of your love and your peace. May all that we do create an atmosphere where every person in our school building feels your love, support, guidance, and care through each of our actions. Give us the courage and the strength to reach out and respond to your invitation to be peacemakers and people of love. We ask, how do we respond to the challenge of building your kingdom in our school community? How do we continue to recognize those in our community who are alone, rejected and on the fringes? And what can we do to continue following the example of Jesus in creating a safe, caring, and compassionate school community? Loving Jesus, we are often in awe when we look at the compassion and mercy that you demonstrated during your life on earth. You constantly reached out to the downtrodden, the sinner, the loner, the rejected, you did not judge these people. Instead, you showed your love and the love of your Father. Grant us all the ability to reach out to those who are in need. May we refrain from judgment, gossip, as well as criticizing others. And we pray that no matter what difficulties we face or what obstacles we have to overcome, we will always be able to rise above ourselves to love and serve others and to be open to the love that they give to us. We know that this is your compassion for others and how we can be compassionate towards others and all that will make our lives richer with more peace and love. Amen. And now together, please join me as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Teresa of Avila, pray for us and St. Patrick, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, good morning again, Cardinal Ambrosic, and just a few announcements, certainly less busy this week at the start than we were last week uh, for Catholic Education Week, and we'll begin there. Just again, a big thank you to uh, everyone who participated, uh, most especially our students and, and the number of staff that also contributed, uh, especially those who shared their vocation stories. Thank you so much. Uh, just wonderful to hear uh, the testimony from our staff. Uh, so thank you to everyone who participated and for uh, all your prayers during Catholic Education Week. As you know, last week as well, we launched our call-out boxes. And this is where students can now be part of the process and also make suggestions to create a safer community, uh, to be more positive, um, to contribute in some way uh, to the success of our community. And so these call-out boxes will be, mail ma be made available on the first week of every month. So we will uh, have them available again on the first week of June. But in the meantime, the following suggestions, initiatives, and ideas were forwarded. And again, the uh, hope with these call-out boxes is that we continue to listen to our students, but we actively engage with them, uh, staff and students, uh, to uh, continue to build a successful safer, inclusive, and compassionate school community. So some of the items that were uh, suggested um, uh, for, the, the, for this month, or for at least starting this month, uh, one was to continue advocating for safer and inclusive school environments, okay? Uh, monthly check-ins with students, separate of instruction time with teachers. So this would allow for students to continue connecting with others and their teachers during their day. 
uh, and especially uh, during the ongoing pandemic. So monthly check-ins with students, great, great idea. Uh, another one was, and here's a great initiative, and, and certainly we'll explore this and see how we can help, is to connect with peers through a mental health space Google Classroom, uh, where students can join daily or when needed to connect with others. So very interesting uh, perspective there and initiative. And finally, um, interest in different clubs. There's a question there that if uh, you have any gifts you wish to share, if there are any clubs, and some of the club's interests included our Social Justice Club, our newly forming Social Justice Club Project Unknown, uh, Equity, and Student Council. So there you go. So this will give us certainly some uh, things to think about, and I will, of course, follow up with these items, connect with different teachers, connect with different castle groups with the office to see if we can uh, help assist with this and uh, continue to be, uh, uh, to be successful as a school community, staff and students included. A reminder to all grade 11 and 12 students that we will continue throughout this month of May and the first week into June with your grade 11 and 12 retreats. On Tuesdays, uh, Tuesday afternoons, grade 11s will be on retreat and on Thursdays after Thursday afternoons, grade 12s. And so we started uh, last week and um, a very successful start and we look forward to meeting with other grade 11s and 12s throughout the month. Uh, and finally, a reminder that Wednesday at 12, uh, sorry, at 11.30 at Ambrosic Chaplaincy, we will uh, continue with the praying of the Holy Rosary. Last week, we took a break because of Catholic Ed Week, uh, but we will continue again this week on Wednesdays uh, or, or Wednesday for the rest of the month at 11.30 at Ambrosic Chaplaincy. And we hope that you can join us there. And that's it, Cardinal Ambrosic. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful start to your week. Uh, a great day, a blessed day. And uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow. God bless you, Cardinal Ambrosic.